His name is higher than any other. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. His name is wonderful. His name is Counselor. His name is Prince of Peace, the Mighty God. His name is higher than any other. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. His name is wonderful. His name is Counselor. His name is Prince of Peace, the Mighty God. His name is higher than any other. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. His name is wonderful. His name is Counselor. His name is Prince of Peace, the Mighty God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Amen. with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today we remember one of the greatest saints of the Catholic Church, Saint Martin de Porres, who dedicated his life for the poor and afflicted. He was bestowed by the Lord supernatural gifts. Let us pray today, seeking the intercession of this Saint Martin. And also, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, acknowledging our failures before the Lord. I confess to confess Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. A God who led Saint Martin de Porres by the path of humility to heavenly glory, grant that we may so follow his radiant example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Chapter 13, verses 8 to 10. Avoid getting into debt. Accept the debt of mutual love. If you love your fellow men, you have carried out your obligations. All the commandments, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not kill. You shall not steal. You shall not covet. 
and so on are summoned up in this single command. You must love your neighbor as yourself. Love is the one thing that cannot hurt your neighbor. That is why it is the answer to everyone of the commandments. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. It goes well for the man who deals generously and blends. It goes well for the man who deals generously and blends. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. It goes well for the man who deals generously and blends. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful and just. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with Honor. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. Open handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. It goes well for the man who deals generously. Kindly rise to the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah, hallelujah. It is a blessing for you. When they insult you for bearing the name of Christ, for the Spirit of God rests on you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. At that time, a large crowds were traveling with him. And Jesus turned and said to them, Whoever comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, Yes, and even life itself cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. For which, you, for which of you, intending to build a tower, does not first sit down and estimate the cost to see whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to ridicule him, saying, This fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going out to wage war against another king, will not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to oppose the one who comes against him with 20,000? If he cannot, then while the other is still far away, he sends a delegation and asks for the terms of peace. So, therefore, none of you can become my disciple if you do not give up all your possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
dear brothers and sisters when luke pens these words about the discipleship of course he is thinking of his christian community as we understand about the early christian community we know all the members of the family would not have been accepted uh the faith in jesus and so what happens there is division in a family hostility in the society so at first when they heard the message of the kingdom they were very enthusiastic to follow jesus and later what happens because of these problems they are troubled so here jesus wants to tell and luke wants to uh, remind his community that if you accept jesus remember that the priority must be give one to jesus and the kingdom in your life that is part of discipleship and again you have to carry the crosses of your life you shall not think once you accept jesus your life will be very much comfortable it would not be like that you have to face the struggles of life the problems of life that is also part of discipleship and again you must be aware of the aptitudes and the capacities of your life you have to foresee everything if i if i start following jesus is it possible for me to continue this path of discipleship can i walk on this path for long time or is just an initial enthusiasm so that you have to see foresee everything and finally the renunciation you have to abandon give up a lot for the lord and the kingdom dear brothers and sisters all these are very important even today when we think about our discipleship also maybe in the family we do not face any problem but when we come to the uh, other demands of the discipleship am i able to carry the crosses of my life or i am always seeking a comfortable life everything will must be safe for me as i am a christian as i pray god will take care of me no doubt but is this my expectation there will not be any troubles in my life there will not be any cross in my life and again something very important am i ready to give up abandon the possessions of life that could become a hindrance for discipleship you remember that rich man who was very enthusiastic very zealous he ran to jesus knelt before jesus and asked to him what should i do to inherit the kingdom the eternal life to earn the eternal life jesus said you keep the commandments he said since my youth i keep all these commandments jesus said still something is lacking in you you go sell all that you own give to the poor we read that man that rich man laughed to jesus he was shocked grieving he was while he was going back he was running to jesus came with so much enthusiasm when the demands of discipleship was were presented before that man he was shocked he grieved this is sometimes what is happening to us the reason is clearly written there because he had so many possessions what is happening in my life i am returning from jesus i am going away from jesus because i have so many possessions 
I am not ready to give up certain things in my life. Each one of us has to find out what is my possession which does not allow me to follow Jesus joyfully. What is my possession which about which I find a grief in my heart. I am sad when I think about it. I am not ready to sell. So a distance is formed between me and Jesus. Let us pray for the grace to walk on the path of discipleship. Amen. Sacrifice of praise unto the heart of the Lord. We bring sacrifice of praise unto the house of the Lord, and we offer unto you the sacrifice of. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with the strength ever new, and offer as sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, with Saint Martin de Porres, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was entered he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this, this bread and, and when we drink this cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death o lord, lord jesus until, until you, you come, come again. again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and george our archbishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be caius to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen, amen. at the service command and formed to by divine teaching and with the freedom of the children of god let us pray our father, our father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, name. Thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant here peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with, with your spirit. spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamp of god, god you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world, world have mercy on us lamp of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamp of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace behold the lamp of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord, lord i am not, not worthy 
that, that you should enter under my roof. But, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart I embrace you as you are already there in my heart I unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that, renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is entered. Let us go in peace and glorify the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. When Jesus put this song into my heart. Jesus put this song into my heart. It's a song of joy no one can take away. Jesus put the song into my heart. Divine Retreat Center begins the weekly residential retreats in English from the 31st of October, Sunday to Friday. Only those who are completely vaccinated with both doses and have made the prior registration will be allowed for the retreat. For prior registration, contact us on plus nine one nine four four six five six nine nine six six. Email us at divine retreat center at gmail.com.